tonight's action, Rick Steigerwall. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to get on the ropes and off the hook? Introducing, fighting out of the blue corner from Indianapolis, Indiana, with a record of 23 wins, no losses, and 20 of those wins coming by knockout. He's 26 years old, weighing in at 226. tonight by the man in the red corner from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. His record is 15 wins, no losses, 11 of those wins coming by knockout. He's 30 years of age, weighing in this, mo this morning at 219 and one half pounds. Give it up for Clifford, the black rhino, ATL! You're both professional. I expect you to act like it. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I'm going to give you three commands. Stop, break, and box. When I say stop, I want you to stop. Step back with your hands up. Protect yourselves at all times. Any questions from the corners? Any questions from the fighters? Shake hands, listen to me, and have a good fight. God bless you. So here's what our internet audience thinks. Who will win the fight? We'll see if it happens. Layman Brewster, the favorite from our internet audience. Both these fighters here are looking to take a step up in their careers. Their competition at this point has been a relatively unknown. Layman Brewster and Clifford ATN trying to get inside the top 15 heavyweight contenders, Kevin. Yeah, well, well, well definitely Layman Brewster has fought every big foot mark. That's a help. And we're underway here. Brewster comes out firing. Triple's up on the jab. It's slipping here. Take your time. Folks. Definitely not a knockdown. And the two now getting right back to work. Brewster normally starts patiently, Kevin. A big right hand for Brewster. And Brewster hits ATM with a left hook as well. Layman Brewster coming out on fire. It's closer here. Definitely not his style. Yeah. Stop, step back, Layman Brewster all the way back, step like back. The Black Rhino and Black Rhino Box. is more like right now he's in trouble. David Brewster right now is coming out very fast, very strong. I believe he expected that from Black Rhino. Oh, right oh, oh, and he goes oh, down, but that's a slip. Right there. Be careful with slipper here. Referee Rick Steigerwald oh, says that's a slip. No knockdowns here in the first round. An exciting first round at that. Layman Brewster. Working there, working there. ATN. Fireworks inside the ring. A left hook, a short one. That's Brewster's best punch. Pushes ATN back, and now ATN goes to work. A big right cross from ATN, and ATN tries to get off. <laughs> Plenty of excitement in the first round, Kevin. Lennon Pusty's legs have buckled and wobbled. He is hurt right now. The black rhino is on work the inside. Let go, work in there. This fight's Stop going holding. both ways. It's swinging back and forth like a swinging door. ATN is unlike most Get heavyweights. He throws about 80 punches per round. Big right uppercut. Snap back Brewster's head, and now Brewster goes to work for the body. Stop, step back, Ray Keen, all the way back, step back. AT all and way Brewster back. both promised Fox. you would not see two fighters holding on to each other in this opening bout of our main event between lightweight championship Paul Spatafora and Mike Griffin. An exciting first round, a minute left to go. Can the fight keep up this pace, Kevin? Well, we'll know in the next two or three rounds, the Black Rhino's used to this kind of pace, but we don't know if Landon Brewster is. And Brewster is cut. Brewster has cut over his right eye. And ATN with a big right hand, and Brewster's in trouble. Back down in the corner, ATN's going to work. Brewster trying to hold on for 30. Work out of here. Five seconds left in the round. ATN triples up on the combination, and I'm ready to handle on the right hand. Work in there, work. Face, 
Ahmed opened up a cut along the right side. It's definitely the kind of fight that I expected out of Ten seconds. I expected Ten seconds. To come Ten out seconds. Of boxing. He came out slow. Keep 
that here. Good job, Ryan. Don't let him rest. You got his mouth feet. Yeah. Kevin, let's Here take a look at this combination by ATN. Right. Seconds out, seconds out. Let's go, wipe it up. Seconds out, wipe it up. Punches and punches every time. ATN landed 46 Box. of 77 punches in the second round, 60%. Like we told you at the beginning of the fight, he is unlike most heavyweights, likes to throw a lot of punches, Working, and he go. comes out strong again in the third round. A big uppercut that time, and Booster absorbing work inside, an work inside. amount of punishment work early get out. on in the third round. Seems like Booster finally's got his legs up. Stop, step back, right, clean, like, all the yes, way back, balance, balance, all the way back. And maybe, Box. just maybe, can get to that jab that he's supposed to be doing, keeping ATM on the outside. ATM unleashes a flurry of blows. Connects on an uppercut with the right hand. Booster now goes to the body of that uppercut. ATM has such a solid chin. Work inside, work to get out. Over over work to get out. Right. ATM seems to absorb it. ATM told us Working. yesterday we talked as Brewster works in three left hands. He told us the fighting is the fun part. Stop, he step back, Ricky. All the way back, step back. All the way back. So he'll Box. spend as much time as he has to outside of the ring getting ready. And once he gets inside the ring, he figures he's Working got the work. stamina to do the damage that he likes to inflict. Well, Watch Lennon your said hands. earlier that he's a good inside fighter. But with ATM, that's the wrong kind of fight. When Lehman is boxing, he's at his best. Lehman misses that time with the right hand. A monstrous right hand from Clifford Etienne and another one. This guy throws punches like a hammer. It reminds me a lot now of you Sammy Brown. Working there. Rick goes overhand hooks. Working, watch the your hands. Rick goes Stop, Stop. step back, Rick. Right. All the way back, step back. He's step back. In the time, but he's very busy on him. Kevin, for a heavyweight to be as active as a fighter like ATN. ATN averages 800 punches some time a fight. That's very busy. Work inside. Keep Stop, step working, back quickly. Right All right, back. Yeah, he's got to work inside, quicker, box. And he's always got to keep your pace, it's not his. What should Lamus Lucas Corner be telling him to do? Step on the outside, you have your chair, and step on the Waiting to get hit rather than punching and moving. Working there, let's go, let go and work. Let go inside work. Right Stop, step back, right clean, all the way back. You hold his glove in there, box. ATM did something very smart. He never allowed Landon Brewster to get into the fight. Landon had an early start, threw lots of good strong punches early, and that's what got him in trouble. He trades jabs and now Brewster with the jab. 10 seconds. ATM. Up that overhead right, as you can see. Stop it, yeah, this is a flurry of blows as we come to a close in the third round. You're aiming too high. Aim for the shoulders. He ducked right into it. He'll duck right into it. Okay? All right? Come on. Take some deep breaths. Come on. Big one. Come on, big one. You know you're in shape. You know you're in shape. When you back out, keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't get caught with them sucker punches. You know what I'm saying? Combination. Do you understand? Come on. Give me some water. Give me some water. It's warm up here, huh? Combination. Earn this water. Earn it. You're sitting on ice. You're doing it, but earn it. All right? I want. Beauty. Well, what about that? Yeah, you stay there. 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 Wipe it up. Box. Wipe that up. Julie Letterman, let us know how you have this fight through three rounds. Wipe that corner Man, up. Got this fight is shut work in there. You got to work inside. Let go his arm. Let go. ATN. He's moving forward, throwing those beautiful quick right hands combinations. Watch your heads in there. Work now. inside. I mean, Stop, step back right quick. He doesn't throw three, four punch combinations at a time. Got Brewster just where he wants him. All right, Julie. And now Brewster connects. Stop, right step back right clean all the way back. Watch your heads inside.
back, keep your head up. Step back. Jab so far in this fight through three rounds. Only at about 33%, 16 for 54. He hasn't been able so far to tame the aggressiveness of ATN. It seemed to me that Lambert came out the aggressor. Stop, step back, break, clean, all the way back. Stop, try to step keep back. Momentum going. But Box. then when he stopped throwing punches, that's when ATN attacks. Keep going, come on. ATN just Watch waited for his opportunity. And that's what working, he did. And that's why working, they're working. Now, now Lambert delivers his patented blow. The solid left. Least three there. ATN comes back with a right uppercut. Stop, and a combination stop. Step to the back, King. Watch you holding the back of the head. Fox. One of the few times Rich Steigerwald has had to get in between the two fighters. They've been doing it themselves. But the big thing about ATN that he's first and he's last. He's beating Lehman Brewster to the punch. That's why Lehman Brewster can't work in there, work in there. get low settles in this fight where he can go and throw his punches and his combination. ATN is landing all Watch your heads. Working inside. Working in there. For Lambert to get to this fight, he has to extend Stop. Step back right clean. Punching. Step back. All the way back. Box. Right there, he should be jabbing. ATN right now is jabbing first. Lehman right there is standing right in front of ATN. And this is why he's getting Watch your elbows. Punch. Also, Kevin, one thing we've noticed about Bruce in the past is Kevin to drop his left arm. Continues through four rounds. Ricky, put some water in the head. In the back, in the back of the head. In the back of the head. When you're in close, keep that left. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Right hand down. Put on the seat bolts. Put on the seat bolts. So you're keeping your hand down too low, that's why you're kicking that hook. When you do sit down and aim your hook for the, for the shoulders, okay? All right. All right, he's, he's wasted the last part of the round, so he come out and blister you real good. He says, coast a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Drop it in there for the end. Flash, flash your hook out. All right, Kevin, let's take a look at these replays. And yeah, that was the big left hand right there that put Brewster in the corner, and he got caught with an uppercut. Here's another one. Seconds angle. out! Seconds out! Let's go! Wipe them corners up! Seconds out! Wipe it up! The Black Rhino, to me, appears to be relentless. Relentless and who's supposed to be relentless? It's the other way around in this fight. Round five, scheduled for 10, a heavyweight bout between Lehman work inside, Brewster work inside. and Clifford ATN. Brewster in the gold trunks, ATN in the black. ATN continues to go to work on the body. The corner, a bad place for Brewster to be, Kevin. It looks to me, they all know. Lehman's probably wondering where did this ATN come from? How can I send him back? Well, both fighters in their last fight. Stop! Step back, right clean. All the way back. Don't turn your back. Rounds. Step back. Box. ATN defeated Watch Harold Sconyers. That was a 10-round fight. And Bruce inside. Let go inside, Mark. He Watch took out. Richard Mason was a unanimous decision, but Brewster was more of a tactician in that fight. He knew he could knock Mason down. I tell you one thing, ATN, people don't know, he was uh, incarcerated for a little bit. And he seemed like he had a lot of energy. Uh, big spark, and that's why I think the public never heard of ATN. And Brewster right now wishes that he's never heard of ATN. He's trying to get your head stuck. Step back, right clean, right all the way back. Step He's back. down for a box. He needs to start mounting an attack and get himself into this fight. 
Kevin, we thought the pace couldn't continue the way it was in the first round, but both fighters still seem to be throwing. Stop! Step back on the Watch the old this side. Me that ATN, this is his usual work pace. And Lander Brewster is trying to keep up with ATN. Brewster lands a short left hook to the face of ATN. But ATN starts to get off now with Brewster along the road. Brewster now, two left hooks. The fighters traded combinations. Step back but Lander Brewster has a lot of amateur experience. And that should help him in his fight. But ATN didn't have that. He only had experience in prison. So the amateur experience, I mean, Lander Brewster was a silver medalist in the Olympic trials. Gold gloves champion. Two years. Two Stop, years. Back right so, all the you guys are working on the inside. Let's go. Right now for They're him working to Stop pulling him into this fight. Quickly, you mentioned ATN. Spent some time in prison, 10 years for armed robbery. Was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Stop, step back, Ricky. All the way back, step all the way back. But he turned his life way around. Back. While he was it's in prison, he enrolled now. in Southern University, and he managed to make it to the Dean's list. But one thing is certain, his name is the Black Rhino. The Black Rhino is an endangered species in this Working country. Working there, work. And work we get out. He right now, he's trying Ten to get seconds. a dangerous fighter. Ten seconds. Kevin, he's trying to make the Dean's list here in Mellon Arena against Lehman Brewster. Five rounds are in the box, and ATN continues his assault. Coming up next, Pittsburgh Zone. Lightweight champion Paul Spatafora will put his undefeated record on the line against Cleveland's Michael Griffin. I'm making him work. Six round, baby. Yeah, four more rounds, right? Come on, baby. Come on. You're in shape. You're in shape. All you got to do is dig down there. You got it. You're in shape. Okay? All right, take deep breaths. Don't pant. Dominations and moves. The midway point entering the sixth round. And hits the end, comes out, <laughs> unloading a fuselage of combinations. He's so busy to be a heavyweight. He throws lots of punches, and it seems like that is his work rate. He throws 800 punches sometimes for fight. And tonight, Van Brusa is filling it. Watch right now, like I box. said, if you get a ball to this beat, get out the way of the Black Rhino. Because he is charging, charging, and charging. Etienne missed with a right hand, but he comes back with three right hands. He's walking lame and Brewster down. He gets close, he throws his combinations, he goes with punches, and then he pulls out range so that Lame and Brewster cannot counter him. Lame and Brewster has got back against the ropes is a no no. He's got to get his back on the ropes, get the fight in the center of the ring. It's almost as if Landon it seems to be taking some time to wrap him a little bit when he's up against the ropes. The rest of you, the Black Rhino does not give him any space to do. Brewster does not have to search far and long to find ATN. Two right hands, an uppercut, and a cross. Right now, Landon Brewster has to get up that corner, get into the middle of the ring, the Stop, step back, Ricky, all the way back, step to the middle. Against the ropes. Step back. He's getting the middle of the ring and establish a jet. Will the cut above three strikes become a factor at some point during the fight? It doesn't look like it's bleeding the future Stop. right step now. Back, but as the fight goes on, as he keeps absorbing punishment, it could be a problem. Watch the elbow. ATN is constant pressure. Working there, working there. Applying punches and punches. He's getting on first. Come on, double it up. I mean, I said it's for a little body Keep him up. There he goes. Trying to chop down Lane right Brewster. Right hand up. Lane right Brewster's looking for one punch. ATN is throwing five and six. Work, work. 
ATN, 15 and 0 with 11 knockouts. He's only been a pro for a year and a half. He says one of the reasons why he doesn't step have that back, many King fights is because step back, step back. he can't find anybody to fight him. Fox. A lot of the heavyweights don't want to get into a ring with a guy like this who they feel, hey, they don't know much about, and B, who doesn't have that much to lose. It's like what you say. It's not who you know who beats you. It's who you don't know who beats you every time. And that's the case with ATM. Thunderous left hook and a big overhead right. Brewster is taking an enormous amount of punishment. A big uppercut and another right hook. But Brewster finally to end the sixth round. What a fight, Kevin. We've got to give Brewster credit. That was phenomenal. He took the shot and he came back. People cannot question Andy Brewster's heart. Let me see the cat doctor. Oh, let me see the cat. No, no, no. Right. How'd it go? Where's my towel? Oh, how'd it go? Deep, 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 de
Come on, now take some deep breaths. You know you're behind. Okay? You're fighting a courageous fight, but you're not, you're not getting to him like you're supposed to. Okay? Aim your, when, you get, when you get close to me, throw that. There you see. Drew Carey and the Hackers. Drew Carey, bring himself hey, into the enemy territory. Well, he was a friend of Landon Brewster. Brewster and he met him. Right hand. Right right hand. Right hand. Right hand. And he's worked on several shows in Hollywood. They're going to take it. Carries up. Get ready, seconds. Get ready, seconds. Okay, let's seconds go. Everybody out. Everybody out. Seconds out. Stay let's there. go. White mouth. Bring Come on, team. White mouth. Stay there. Start the eighth round, Kevin. In the last round, ATM outlanding Brewster 26 to 7. Well, it's understandable because Naaman Brewster is now punching Sorry. first or last. Stop, stay right here. He seems to be Hold the time, in stay the right there. Hold the time. ATM's action. Now, Rich Steiger Wall yep. calling time. Once stay right, right, there. right there. Right there. On Brewster's right glove. Great trainer in his corner, Bill Slate. Excellent training. Bill Slate is trained in another great heavyweight. Turn around. Time in. Box. Box. Work inside. Let's go. Give Work. Brewster this credit. We are in the eighth round, and he's still around, still throwing punches. A lot of fighters could not have taken the punishment that ATN is dishing out as ATN unloads a flurry of punches to Brewster's body and head. I believe Levin Brewster's looking to get his momentum going, and it's kind of late in the fight to get it over. As tough as ATN appears Work to it, be, work your guys, work your guys. Watch your point, heads. In the fight, as Brewster's corner realized he's got to get a knockout to win the fight. I think they realized that the last round, every round. <laughs> I mean, right now, I got him down. I might go up now to Julie Bettman. I haven't seen Lennon Brewster win this round. Step back, Ricky. All the way back. Step back. I'm glad he's still here. I'm sure he's glad he's still here with us. But it turns to be a hell of a fight, but he has to establish himself to keep your hand off the back of his head. Down the black rhino within the next two or three rounds or two rounds or he's no, going to lose this fight. Big right hand from ATN and Brewster <laughs> bounces up against the ropes and takes another brutal shot from Working. ATN. If this was a title fight, we'd have at least 12 rounds of another four rounds to go. ATN's favorite Stop, two points back, combination, back, the right back, uppercut back. and the overhand All the way back. Box. But Brewster is standing. Brewster likes to land against those ropes. Watch your hands. That's an attack that he doesn't need. He needs to be going forward. He's on the back of his legs. Etienne keeps attacking like he just did. Attack over and over and over. He's attacking first and he's attacking last. Name of Bru Brewster. Work inside. Work inside. Is too infrequent. Work to get out. This is why he's losing the rounds. Etienne is right now in control of the fight. He's touching, landing power shots. Touching, landing power shots. There we go, Lehman Brewster's backs against the ropes again. Wrong yeah. position to pull a box. Stop, step back, Red King, all the way back, step back. A box is between the second ring, utilizing the jab. Going 10 position. seconds. The punches keep flying here as we come to a close through eight rounds. Hey, watch your pulling down and hitting, okay? What's wrong, man? What's wrong? What's wrong? Huh? I got this. I got this. Kevin, we've talked about this throughout the whole fight. Brewster keeping his left hand low, and here are prime examples throughout the whole fight. ATN's been able to get off with that right overhand cross. He's been able to get off with Thank both you. hands because Lehman Brewster has had both his hands down at periods of time, especially on the inside. When you're close, you keep your hands up. Pull it out. You gotta pull it out. He's more tired than you, okay? He's more tired than you. You think you're tired, you're more tired. Turn your shoulders and come out with your punches. Come on, baby. With the comments together, no pictures out there in the middle punches. 
You ain't got no reason to take that. You got better defense. You gotta do it for everybody. Come on. Let's go. Seconds out. Seconds out. Stay there. Brewster's corner telling them, look, there's no need to take that many punches. And they know that the only way their fighter is going to walk out of here with a victory is if he knocks down Clifford ATN. No, he had some Watch your hands. Out right at this point. Knock work down inside. Work in there. Let go and work. Don Turner has built a great Let fire go of his arm. ATN. Let go of his arm. Train up Michael Grant. And also Evander Holyfield. We talked about the number of punches that ATN throws. Through eight, he's already unloaded 553, and he's landed 50%. I'm sure Don Turner does a feel what a great overhand right by Leonard Brewster. But no follow-up hook, no back to the jab. He has his moments, but they're too infrequent. Stop, step back, right, Keen, all the way back. You're holding inside. Box. If you're in Leonard Brewster's camp, what do you do to hand. get him to break that habit of hanging his left hand down low? Well, what you could do is, it comes from the gym, you're not going to get it in a fight. You got to work on it two, three months at a time. I'm picking his hand up, holding it up. You got to give him punishment, uh, sit-ups, push-ups, anything, until he brings that hand up. For something like his arm, um, make him bring that hand up. It work here. Comes from Stop, the gym, step back, from right, the way back, step back. Everything. Step back, no push over break. Stuff like that. Step so back. Do, it in the gym, do it in a fight. And I think they have allowed him to do it. That's why he's doing it now. Brewster catches ATN with a big right hand, and ATN seemed to be momentarily stunned, and now Brewster will try to get out. ATN is hurt. ATN is hurt. Step back, Ricky. Step back. Let him do right now. Got to jump on his opportunity and try to take ATN out now. Brewster can sense that ATN was rocked by his right hand. Watch him push it on the head. That right hand is what he needed all night long. But does he have enough in the tank to take out ATN? That's the question. He has taken nine Stop, rounds step back, of Ricky, punishment. Way back, step back. Does he have step back. anything Off left to Box. take out ATN? Very good point, Kevin. Brewster trying to go to work. Unbelievable. Let go, in the ninth go. round between Lehman Brewster and Clifford ATN, they put on quite a show for this crowd in Pittsburgh who are waiting to see their hometown hero, Paul Spatafora, get inside the ring with Michael Griffin. Well, one thing these fans can say tonight, they came to see a boxing match, and they saw a fight. Stop, step back, back, clean, all the way back, let go inside. You're holding inside. Brewster oh, trying to do what he knows he needs to do seconds. to walk away unscathed, trying to knock down Ernie 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 Ernie. But Annie Ann's still standing as we come to a close in the ninth round. Phil, get the arm off. Give me some deep breaths. I'm only going to say one thing. This is my round. I don't give a fuck what you did all the way through. I need get this round. You get understand? It's the last round you're going to touch listen up in the to middle. me. I need this round. Out of all the rounds, I need this. All right, Kevin. Let's take a look at how Brewster had a slight resurgence. The strong right hand rocking ADN. ATN got careless, and he caught on the overhand right. ATN dropped his hands for the first time. those hooks and we even saw some uppercuts the last few rounds very easy fight watch to your score. heads inside work in here work will get out the heavyweight boxing world put on notice regardless of what happens through the duration of this round that both Layman Brewster and Clifford ATN are for real 
I agree with Julie Letterman. My score is exactly the same as hers. I gotta say, she's doing a lot of job on the scorecards. It's obvious by watching a fight, you can see who's winning this fight. He's got more wear and tear, he's got more damage. The man on the back, 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 back is having a hell of a the ropes. Box. Work in there, work your get out. ATM's corner wanted him to win this round big, and it seems like both men are leisurely going through it. ATM to handle score cards. Booster unloads his best punch. His left foot catching ATM in the chin. ATM can't afford to get careless. Watch your hand on it takes one punch, and the fight can be changed there. One punch. We're halfway through the 10th round. Layman Brewster needs a knockout. Clifford ATN needs to just really, Kevin, stay away. I wouldn't do that. Never know if you judge the watching. ATN needs to keep doing what he's done for the last eight rounds. Stop, step back, Ricky. I gave the ninth back, round to Layman Brewster. All the way back. But he didn't do what he did for the last eight. Now stay on top of Layman, stay close oh, stop. and smother stop. Layman Keep Brewster your head up, punch. watch the push and dive. But Kevin, what happens if ATN is in too close Watch your hands. and Brewster catches it with one of the powerful left hooks? Well, if ATN is close enough, the hook will have nothing on it. It will be too short to have any power on it. But if he stays at a distance, the hook he throws will have a lot more leverage, a lot more punching power, and it can catch ATN and the fight can be changed in one shot. Watch your hand on his head. Stop. Right step back, Ray Keen. Keep your hand off the back of his head. Step back. Both of these fires tired. But still battling here in the 10th and final round. ATN will not let up. Stop, step back. All the way back. Let go of his arm inside. Step back. People Box. at home want to see. This is top boxing. Two undefeated fighters coming together, meeting at the same Working time, out. showing their goods. Damon Brewster takes a heck of a shot. ATN throws one and takes one himself. Now, an unbelievable 10 rounds of boxing. Stop. In our opening bout. Ten seconds. Turn your back. It's a shame that somebody has to lose this fight. Stop. Good job. And that'll do it for the first fight in Canada Nation history. It's over. Lehman Brewster and Clifford yeah. ATN we don't putting on an incredible show. The crowd here at Mellon Arena on their feet appreciating what they just saw. ATN showing that he is really the real deal. Well, he's on the map now. <laughs> Heavyweights that Save didn't you. know anything about ATN know an awful lot about him now. Especially Landon Bruce. in the lobby earlier, for the top ranking, and they said they were very shocked that Landon Brewster took this fight. And a lot of people believe that Landon Brewster took this fight. I give it, I, my heart Thank you. Okay, Kevin, let's bring in Julie Letterman to see how she scored the bout. Julie? Fran, 99, 91, Clifford, oh, ATN, good. nine rounds yeah. to one. Clean yeah. punching, yeah. effective yeah. aggressiveness, yeah. moving yeah. forward yeah, throughout the whole for fight, like except that. for round bah, nine. Bah. Dominating the fight, easy fight to score. Shouldn't be too difficult at all for these judges. <laughs> all right, Julie. You. My score Kevin, you have it pretty much the same way. Like I got it the same exact way as Julie Letterman. I believe that I mean, Ray Charles could have judged this and saw that the Black Rhino was so ahead, so ahead of the scorecards that Lehman Brewster did need a knockout to win. Who is he? Both fighters came into this bout as knockout artists. Brewster had 20 out of 23 fights. ATN had 11 out of 15. That now moves up to 12. Or actually, excuse me, it does not. But. Both fighters showing that they can go the distance and they also can take a punch because how Lehman Brewster remained upright is really unbelievable. Unbelievable fight. I mean, I thought that Lehman was going to come in the box a lot more and utilize his jab, but he fought. All right, let's head up to Ed Lover with the decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I read the official decision, Please, can we have a nice round of applause for both of these heavyweights?
Okay, here we go. Judge Bell scores it 98-92. Judge Greenlee scores it 99-91. Judge Kachulis scores it 99-91. A unanimous, unanimous decision, excuse me, for the winner, Clifford the Blood Rhino. There you see Brewster walking out, ATN, a winner by unanimous decision. Let's take a look at the final punch stat numbers of our opening 10 round bout. ATN stays busy. We talked about that. He throws an average of 800 punches. He threw 600 here, 636, but he landed a whopping 49%. Well, as Brewster landed just 30. Just spit it right in there. Don't worry about it. Up your hands, be sharp, change your angle. Give him that, hey, hey, come on. And snap your punch. So you saw the top.